Hi everyone, in this part of my doll's house renovation I am planning on putting some beams on the top half of this banqueting hall and also obviously doing the decorating and sorting out the little fireplace that's currently floating halfway up the wall. So I started off by doing a quick sketch of what the interior looks like now to work out where I wanted to put the panel in, how I'm going to do the balcony or the gallery and um, what my next steps are. So this is me doing a quick sketch, obviously it's not a very good sketch, it's only a really fast one to try and work things out but I think this is what I'm planning on doing. So on the bottom half I want panel in, on the top half I want beams. So I've got this piece of wood that I've had for absolutely ages that I bought for a different project and never used. It's got a veneer on it so I started by trying to take the veneer off by heating it hoping it might melt the glue underneath but that was unsuccessful so then I took it outside and used my Dremel and with the sanding tool I managed to take off all of the veneer now obviously I wore my mask for this my glasses I took it outside so that it was well ventilated it made loads of mess please don't copy how I've done it just if you're using a Dremel please follow the instructions from the manufacturer and then I measured up my wood to work out how long it needed to be and then I cut it checked it and then carried on measuring for the next few pieces. You'll notice that the pieces of wood are no longer straight and they're quite lumpy. I did that on purpose as I was using the Dremel to try and make them look aged so that they're in keeping with my Tudor house. Now each piece needs to be amended slightly because I need to trim down a little bit. I need to make some of them a bit more narrow but that is what I will do in a little while. So this is me just checking to see what they will look like when they're in situ and I'm really happy with that. I can't have one behind the door because then the door won't open. Okay, and it's coming into the night time here which is why I've got my iPhone flashing a light on but before I do anything else I need to take off the wallpaper and take the carpet out. So here I'm just using a wet warm soapy sponge to moisten the wallpaper and that came off really easily. Unfortunately the carpet was not so easy so I was doing this into the night so I will come back when I finished it in the morning. I've woken up the next morning and what a mess. So I need to clear all of this up and I still need to finish taking this carpet out and it doesn't look like there's that much to do but I'm sure it'll take me ages because it's so well stuck down. So the plan for today is to have a think about what I'm going to do with this wall and what I'm going to do about the fireplace and all of these rough edges. So I need to cover up this little fireplace so that I can make a wall without a floating fireplace um, and I also need to get rid of the rough edges if I'm going to paint over it. However, I've tried with sandpaper and I'm not having much luck which is making me think that I need to put a fake wall over the top to cover up the fireplace. Apologies for how dark this footage is. It is so dark outside today, it's raining again. It's been raining for about two weeks now now. Um, I'm not complaining, I quite like the rain but it's not great for filming, I'm not getting much daylight in. So I need to cover up this fireplace and I think I'm going to go down to the garage to have a look to see if I can get some wood to cover here. So apologies for the state of my garage, I left it in a mess the last time I used it and obviously it's full of cobwebs and this wood here I thought I had so I'm going to collect this before I go back into the house because that will be ideal for the balustrade for my gallery. And then this plywood here is what I've actually come in for. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for £2 per sheet ages ago. And the sheets were huge. These are just the offcuts. So this will be ideal for the wall that I'm about to make. And I'm also just having a look at what leftover paints. I have to see if I can use some for the walls in my doll's house house. I think this one will do week pass. So I've made it back into the house, my wood is dry, thankfully, and I've just come in to size it up and I cannot believe how perfectly it already fits. So there's a little gap at the top and bottom if I use this sized wood, but I think that'll do nicely. I'll be able to patch around that with some filler. So I need to obviously straighten off the bottom, make sure that I'm happy with the fit and put it to size. It's quite thin so I've been able to use my Stanley knife to just cut down it, obviously using my cutting mat and keeping my fingers out of the way. Please don't let children use knives, I know I say it in every video, um, but please don't copy what I do because I'm not sure that I do it in the safest way, I don't know if I'm doing the correct way or not. Just 
giving the wood a good sand down here, although I'll probably be using some filler as well to neaten off the edges. My cat's sat right next to me, pairing away really loudly, so apologies if you can hear that over the microphone. Um, so I've just sizing this up now to check that it fits, and I'm happy with it. I've got two individual pieces here just because I'm mindful of where the beam's going to go. Um, so I am really happy with that, and I'll move on to the next step now, where I need to start thinking about where I'm painting. So using the wheatgrass coloured paints that I found in the garage, I've decided to paint all of the interior and the two pieces of wood that are going to make the fake wall and I've also decided to touch up all of the outside of the house as well because when I was making the brick bag I made a bit of a mess knowing that it needed painting so I thought this was a good opportunity to get started on that. Painting took all afternoon and all evening, so we're on to day three of this part of the video now. So these are the beams that I had previously cut, and I've laid them all out to where I want them to be, and now it's time to paint them. So using the raw umber acrylic paint that I've used for other parts of the doll's house, I'm going to make a wash that I'm going to use to paint these beams, and also to paint some of the interior of the house as well. And I'm now at a stage where everything's drying, so I've painted the area where of the walls where there's going to be panelling. That's just an undercoat, so don't worry that it looks a mess. I've painted the floor, but again, that's going to be covered in actual flooring. Um, I've painted the stairs, and the walls are obviously the wheatgrass white. And the fake walls that I've made to cover the fireplace upstairs have now dried, so I'm going to stick them on one panel at a time using some super glue. It's the first time I've used this super glue, so I'm hoping it'll stick well. The glue did stick well so I finished sticking on the panels and then I added each beam one at a time. So over the past three days we've gone from this to this and I couldn't be happier with it. Please remember to hit subscribe if you want to carry on watching to see the progress with the doll's house. Thank you for watching this video.